Hello my viewers. This is part two of King Valves. And one thing that I didn't show you on part one was how to connect your manifold gauges to an access fitting or Schrader valve uh, that's on the King Valve, like this one. Okay, so what you do is just go ahead, like I showed you, you put the your manifold gauges on the access fitting and then you can turn the valve to okay to the mid position just a few times is all you need right there and by then you should notice an increase of, of pressure on your manifold gauge and if you don't that means that your system is probably flat and you have uh, another problem, probably a leak or something that you need to take care of. So, um, at this point, whatever you do, do not remove your manifold gauges from the king valve, otherwise your refrigerant will go flying out and you just don't want that to happen. So before you remove your manifold gauges from the king valve, you're going to have to back seat this valve to where it was before, you know, to so that's the stem is all the way out. That's easiest way to know that you have it back seated. And then you can safely remove your hose from the access fitting and there you have it. I hope this helps to understand how to get on and off a king valve. Oh, and it's good practice to remember to put the cap back over the stem because it's uh, it really saves on the wear of of that stem from corrosion and everything. 